hot dogs, hot coffee, and I love NY everything. New York street vendors are as iconic as the items they sell. A community of roughly 20,000 dot our street corners throughout the five boroughs. Many of them immigrants, veterans, and people of color whose livelihoods depend on the hustle and bustle, something that disappeared during the pandemic. It is very important for New Yorkers to know the hard work that goes behind everything we see out there in the street. A lot of work, a lot of hours, a lot of challenges that people deal with every day to put a car to the sand out there in the street. To help generate awareness, the Street Vendor Project, an advocacy group that's part of the Urban Justice Center, has created a street vendor scavenger hunt. It's a series of challenges that will start in the International Street Vendor Day, November 14th, celebrating street vendors across New York City, getting New Yorkers to engage with the street vendors in a higher level than just buying the product and walk away. For $26, teams of up to five people can sign up online. They'll have one month to complete all the challenges by submitting photos to a special mobile app. While you can complete the scavenger hunt in any of the boroughs, we went to Times Square, home to hundreds of street vendors for a preview. First challenge, marvelous merch. We want colorful, so yes. purple. So I just purchase it and we take a photo? Yes. And then we upload the photo on the app? That's right. Dwayne Jackson, a disabled veteran, sells apparel on 45th Street. I'm originally from San Francisco, and there are people from Thailand, there are people from Mexico City, there are people from Guatemala, all over, who come here, claim their stake to the New York experience in being a street vendor. Next up, find a longtime vendor to spotlight. Let me ask you a question to complete one of the challenges. How long have you been a vendor? About 35. 35? Awesome. So that's one box checked. Evangelos and Edith Spanadakis have been serving coffee and pastry on 48th Street and Broadway for 26 years. They are excited to meet new people through the game. We are a long time here, you know, and the people, the people, they love us. We love the we people. Love them. We like to have that interaction with the customer because we feel like we are part of their lives in some somehow. Spend more time with the community, learn about their struggle, learn all the secrets that every vendor has for their cars and their stands, and get to know them better. Mohammed, really, what you guys are doing with the scavenger hunt is so great, supporting all the small businesses. So thank you again. Thank you.